Hello violin students. This is Joe Jewett and I'm doing a little video about how to tune your violin, which is always a difficult issue. And there are several violin tuning videos out there on YouTube, but hopefully having me in this one, um, I can make this as easy as possible. So first of all, you see you have fine tuners down here underneath the bridge on the tailpiece. To start out, we're going to assume that you need you want to be able to tune with the pegs now because the fine tuners most of you have explained how to do that so what we're going to do first is we're going to loosen all of them all the way to the left lefty loosey okay so we've got them all completely almost completely loose all right so the next step is we want to look at our bridge and we want to make sure is the bridge standing straight up and down because if it's not and it's tilted this way and you start tuning the, the, with the pegs the bridge could fall over and that could be at the very least a bit startling. All right, so step three is we're going to take the violin and we're going to plant it in our lap like this. So you want it, want it to be really completely well supported in, in your lap. And uh, the next thing we're going to do, actually, um, it'd be great if you had a tuner going, but right now we can't do that because my phone has the tuner on it. and. Um, but you know, some there are some tuners that clip onto the violin. But there's a tuner you can get that I use a lot. It's called Clear Tune, and it's a free app. And um, so I would suggest having the tuner going. Anyhow, uh, the next step is we're going to uh, put, put our hand on the violin on the right hand side to make it really firm, and we're going to uh, take this first peg here as the G peg. And we're going to what we want to do is we want to push inward on the peg. And first, we're going to turn it towards ourselves a little bit. And you can hear the, viol the, the, tune, the, the pitch goes lower. Right? So we want to get a feeling for how much, how much are you going to be able to, 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 to turn it to make the, the pitch change. And as you're pushing in, now we're going to get it to go up to G. Now, right now, I don't have the tuner going, so you can't see that that's G, but I know that that's G, so you're just going to have to trust me. All right, so now we're going to stay on the left side of the violin, go to D. Again, let's go down a little bit, pressing inwards. So G and D are pretty close right now. All right, so now we're going to go to the other side of the violin pluck with our, our left hand and we're going to go to the A peg. That's the one that's the farthest one up here. Might be the hardest one to do. And so we're going to, again, go down a little bit and then pushing in, go up until we get, get to A. Finally, the E. Now this one's the scariest one because the E is a tiny little wire. And if you turn it too suddenly, the E could snap and it could like, you know, snap against your finger and that might not feel good. So anyhow, here we go. Down a little bit. Now the E is kind of doesn't take very much tuning at all to get it to come up to pitch. So anyhow, now we are pretty close. Go down to the fine tuners. And basically we're in tune. So the fine tuners I did by to make it tighter. I go to the right, tight, righty tighty to make it higher, tighter, um, lefty loosey to make it lower. And I've got, right? So I would be checking with my tuner on each one of those strings. All right, hope that's helpful. I know that it was quick, but see you later.